All right, let's talk tabs. So the first thing about tabs is you have to have your ruler showing and you can get that with this little icon right here or you can go with uh, view ruler, make sure that's checked. But it's important to have your ruler because that's where you're gonna put your tabs. And this little guy over here, this is actually your tab marker. Mm -hmm. So it's defaulted always to a left tab and then as you click on it, it cycles through all the different kinds of tabs you can have. So I take my mouse off and back on again. It says, okay, center tab, right tab. So the first three are the most commonly used. This one with a dot is a decimal tab. Um, bar tab. I've seen those before. Not really sure why that's in there because it's already right here. Feel free to tell me why you think that is <laughs> in class. Okay, and back to the beginning, a left. So what that means is if you go click, click, and you go, oh, I wanted a center tab, you have to go all the way through <laughs> and back to the beginning, and then click to get to your center tab. So that's a cool little feature. Maybe someday they'll give us a drop down here where you can actually pick which tab you want. Okay. So once you have it picked here, all you have to do is click on the um, ruler and that'll be where your first tab goes. So I have my cursor in front of this first line and I hit tab on my keyboard. And you think, well, there's no tab there. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. Sometimes when you do that, the first line, it thinks you want to indent every paragraph. So it moves it forward for you. Um, so the one way to avoid that Put that back and put um, so this is already set to left tab I can click right here on the line and now I have a tab and I can drag it if I want it to be there and you saw how this one jumped to it the reason why was when I'm here see how that dotted line goes into the word tab this tab marker doesn't pick it up if I give a tab here it's going to go to that first marker at the four. And it will stay there because this first tab will always go down the ruler looking for the first tab mark. And so I could put a second tab mark here and nothing happens because there's no tab mark. This tab mark is going here. There's no other tab mark between these two spots. The minute I go over here a little bit, this tab is gonna pick up that tab marker. So that's how they, um, that's how they work. Oh, and I, I lost it. The way that I lost it, I click to get it on, and then I can click and drag down to get rid of it. And that's what I had just done is I accidentally got rid of it, which is no big deal. You can see when my cursor goes low that it disappears. But as long as I have my finger on the mouse, it's still there. So that's the left tab. So I'm going to click one time, grab a center one. So that's what a center looks like here. Center tab. One more click grab my right and put it here. So a lot of time with the right, you want it to be right up against the margin, but you see how my cursor does all that goofy craziness. You can't click right here and put a, put a uh, tab stop on top of an indent, but you can put the tab mark a little bit to the side and then click and drag it onto top of the tab mark. And now your words are lining up right to the margin. It's gonna look much more clean all right, in the center tab, the cool thing about tabs is let's say you take, change a word, it, re it realigns it. So matter, no matter um, what you type, it's, that one's going to stay in the middle. And no matter what you put over here, more text, it's always going to feed in from the right side. So that's why you would use a tab, left, you know, a left, right, center tab one of those tabs instead of just manually like trying to figure it out that's sort of a lot more work so don't do that um, tab. okay the last tab I want to show you is right here it's called a decimal tab and so this comes in handy when you're doing uh, figures or numbers in the report or something like a chemistry report so there's your decimal tab and let's say we put it right here and now all the numbers line up right on that dotted line pretty slick huh 
Oh, you know, not bad. Let's say you want some dots in front of this. So this, say you have a list of costs, right? So this is uh, Band-Aids. I don't know about your kids. My kids seem to think Band-Aids are like stickers. And we have a battle every day. Um, we have a one Band-Aid a day rule because our kids use so much Band-Aids. Um, so that's where that comes from. We also use a lot of that. And we have a lot of spills, Fort Boys, lots of spills. Okay, so say you want each number to line up with the item. You can highlight those. And so I, I kind of just de default to highlighting everything because I know if I highlight it, the computer will know what I'm talking about. And you come up here, you can double click on this tab and it brings up the tab dialog box. You can also get it through paragraph. Let me show you. Right here are the paragraph dialog box. And down here in the corner it has a tabs button, which kind of makes sense because it's all about alignment. And so here's spacing and aligning and um, line and page breaks. And then here's your tab if you need to go to tabs. All right, so I'm talking about this um, tab mark at 1.5. You have to select it down here. And then um, it tells what kind of a tab it is. I could change it if I wanted to, to a bar, or I don't know. But I'm not, I want a leader. So here's my leader. And then I say, okay. You could say set, I think too, but I'm done. So I'm just gonna hit okay. And now I have dots there. One thing that's interesting I wanted to point out is when my um, cursor is on this line, I only see the tab marks associated up until this hard return. Um, when I click here, all my tab marks are gone. And when I take on this line, click on this line, I've got just my decimal tab. So one of the other interesting things is if you put cursor here and you hit enter on your keyboard. Oh, it didn't take it. Usually it takes the tab markings. Really? Wow, that's new. Okay, strike that. That was an old feature, apparently. Um, we used to take the tab marks with it. Okay, let's say we have um, we have that, and we want our tabs to be the same here as we want these tabs to match those. I can go up, use my Format Painter, and paint over it, and now they'll match. That Format Painter, it's cool. All right, a little bit further here, we're gonna say you're working on your resume and you wanna line things up. So this is how you might use that. Is, uh, let's see. So it looks like you have a job title and then you have, I put in the classes I was teaching and then when, when I was teaching them. So I'm actually gonna highlight both of these. And I'm gonna put, left tab for this first one and you see how that wrapped down it's too long so I'll fix that in just a second um, actually I'll fix that now okay now I still have a tab in there it's just really small and you can't see it Okay, so these two tabs line up to this one, and then I'll put a right tab here at the end. I have to click here and drag it over. And now my dates match up to this, this margin. So I can do something like this. And it looks nice and clean. And then I can also, um, format paint it and put it right there and this is set up as well well that didn't work at all did it wow I don't know what I'm hitting there but it's getting late maybe I'm hitting the wrong key grabbing the wrong key Oh, there we go. Wow, that was tough. 
Okay, so this is how you might use tabs on your resume, and it's possible you might also want to um, use leaders. If you had something bolded, though, let me tell you, um, when you copy this and use your Format Painter, because you have one item in there bolded, everything gets bolded on where you, you paint it. So any feature you have, it's going to give it to the second one. So in that case, um, so anytime you have different features added, you don't want to use your Format Painter. They need to be all the same features, or you need to be okay with having to go in and take off that one little feature. All right, that's it. I'll see you soon.